Hello everyone and welcome to our SIO2 sessions. We are here at our manufacturing site at Bausch & Ströbel in Ilshofen, Germany. My name is Andre Dunzik. I'm a business development director from the United States and today I'm here with SIO2 in front of our Variosis machine. Thank you Andre. My name is Matteo Trisoglio from SIO2 Medical. I'm the director of product development in Europe. Today we're going to present you the combination of the viruses with the SIO2 vials. SIO2 is a material science company that has a proprietary technology platform. We invented and deployed syringes and vials, which are the combination of polymers and glass, without the key drawbacks of both. Today we join forces to talk about trends in packaging materials. Uh, gene and bioengineered products have taken the industry by storm. We've had to rethink our equipment design to be more agile and flexible for smaller batches. And we had to rethink our approach to packaging. So we have taken a holistic approach about how we integrate the packaging material into our equipment design. What do you think, Matteo? Vials or syringes is the future? It's both because, you see, I agree. We've seen this biotech industry growing rapidly and massively in the last couple of years. And the trend since years, as you mentioned, is smaller batches. Yeah. Switching from a vial to a PFS poses manufacturing challenges that you handle with the viruses. We at SIO2, we're saying the trend is for both. Maybe it's also dedicated to the single markets. As you know, the US is more a vial market. Europe and the rest of the world tend more to go for PFS. But we believe that the surface in contact with the drug is the key of it. It's more important than the shape of the packaging itself. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. The Variosis product is designed for the most container flexibility available on the market today. With the scan isolator in place, setting the cornerstone for future extendability and flexibility. So, Matteo, why is the industry moving so aggressively towards ready-to-use components? Well, Andre, the uh, importance of RTU packaging material is growing with the development of those new therapies. We've seen this growing very fast in the last couple of years. Yeah. Biotech is literally exploding. Basically, if you go for RTU, you get a lot of savings, right? So the washing machine is not longer needed. The sterilization, smaller clean rooms. Smaller clean rooms yeah. That's all money you can save, yeah. right? So, but there's more than that. You can reduce the overall costs, and at the same time, it means that CO2 sustainability requirements of the industry and or of an innovation mm -hmm. can be met. If you join us for the next session of SIO2, we're going to talk a lot more about machinability as well. So thanks for joining us. See you next time.